All right, everyone, welcome back to the Blue Tick YouTube channel. So for today's demo, I'm going to be taking you through a 60s Bridget Bardot inspired shag. So the four key areas for this look are going to be one, these lovely wide Bardot bangs. Number two is going to be the line technique. Number three is going to be these concave layers. And then number four is going to be the finish and the styling of the look. Right, so this is Ali. This is the before with um, not much shape and quite damaged ends. The key area number one then is going to be the Bardo bangs. I'm starting with the bangs because it will help me establish how short I'll go with the rest of my layers. It also puts the client at ease and they can admire them throughout the cut. To start this bit then you can see I've sectioned from just in front of the ear right the way across the head. And I'm going to cut each side in two sections. So the first section, I'm over directing and elevating right the way across to the opposite um, eyebrow. And this is so I can build up a lot of short to long sweep. And then the second section, I'm over directing everything to middle and again, elevating into a layer to connect it, frame and open the face and also give it a 60s feel. Because we're working with the hairline, the bottom bit is gonna sit quite long. So you might wanna go through and just nip a little bit off like I did. Okay, so moving swiftly on to key area number two, the layers. I'm gonna be working a layer called concave layer. So to cut this type of layer, you wanna comb the hair up and then rotate your fingers into the crown area and bring your elbow up to create this angle. This will give a short to long layer, which then sits with a lot of texture. This layer is great because you can create short layers but keep a lot of length, so it's perfect to keep weight at the bottom if the line is sparse or broken. So I'm working with the concave layer, but I'm also pivoting around the head. This is so that I can layer the head more and take up more weight um, to create that kind of soft shag feel. Right, so I asked the students watching what they found difficult about this technique and they said they end up with one side a little bit longer. My advice for them was to make sure that they move their body each section around the head so they don't produce any unwanted over direction on one side of the head. Key area number three is going to be the line. So I've got Ali to stand up for this so the hair all sits at natural fall and doesn't hang over the chair. Also, it's better for our body position to get eye level with the cutting line. To cut your sharpest line, I cut through my comb because it creates even tension and sits completely at natural fall, preventing any graduation. I've cut my line in one section because I already took out some of the weight with my layers and because the ends were quite broken and sparse. So doing it like this is much more time efficient. However, if the hair was thicker, I'll be using more sections. So the last key area then for this look is gonna be the finish and the styling. So the first two OA prep products I'm using are is the Flux Potion to give my blow dry um, some hold and give it some structure. It's like a liquid mousse. The second is the Nurturing Drops, which is a penetrative oil that's gonna make the hair look and feel amazing. So you've just seen that I've done a wrap dryer to make the hair sit nice and natural and smooth and silky. So now I'm just going through my front area to make sure it's nice and soft because we've got a lot of hair in this front bit. I'm going through and point cutting and I'm, I'm point cutting a lot deeper through the sides to take out a bit more weight there. Then the other bit I wanted to point cut into just to make sure there's a real seamless flow was the bit between my base of the line and the shortest bit of the layers. I'm going to be using the irons to style this look and with this first section at the fringe I'm curling the irons inwards. This is just going to give it a bit of a flatter sweep and then the section underneath I'm just curling it away just to give a bit more volume and a bit more movement that when it's all swept together just connects and has a nice yeah, sweep to it. Then for the rest of the head, I'm using an S-Wave technique. I love using these because they create like a natural kind of undone and flat kind of wave. To create this S-Wave, I bend the hair and then tap it in with the tongue without any sort of twisting at all, just to create that flatness. The last piece of my puzzle is gonna be using this volume and texture hair path, wicked product by Oway. Really easy to use and has great results. Gives loads of volume, which for me is gonna be great for giving it that like Bridget Bardot volume, but also giving it that modern texture that I was looking for. 
I hope you really enjoyed this. I loved making it for you all.